This, I believe, is a YouTube play button. So let's open this together and just celebrate. And then I'm gonna have some cool announcements for you guys about uh, what I'm doing on this channel to celebrate that 100,000 subscriber milestone. Here goes. <laughs> All right, so not quite the grand reveal I was hoping for just yet. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll read this all later. Wow, that's on nice, nice thick cardstock. But here it is. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Thank you guys so much for making this possible. I've been on YouTube for like two and a half years now two and a half years maybe. And in that time, it, you guys have just literally transformed my life. I went full time this year, paper airplane content between my channel, between Power Ups, YouTube channel. And um, I do promise that I will return to consistency um, and hopefully continue to bring content to you that you have enjoyed so far and even content that you might enjoy even more in the future. And now we have that announcement that I promised. So just a little bit of background. I get a lot of messages from viewers that are wanting me to look at a paper airplane they've designed, either to make improvements or just to say, hey, Kyle, this is really cool. What do you think? And I just love going through those messages, folding your planes, throwing them. There have been some really, really good designs that have been submitted to me. So for a long time, I have been wanting to host a contest on this channel where viewers who have designed their own paper airplanes can submit their original designs, and I will go through all of them. Whether it's 10 planes, whether it's 100 planes, whether it's thousands of planes that get submitted, I'm going to literally fold all of them and test them, and I will kind of just grab a handful that I think are really, really good, and I will put them back in front of the viewers in a video and I'll feature them, I'll show them in flight, I'll show you all what they look like. And you, the viewers, can vote on which plane you like best and want to see made into a folding tutorial. And more than that, I will also design a template for that paper airplane, which of course will be available to my patrons, but also will be available to the designer of the paper airplane to do whatever they want with that template. So in that spirit, today I am teaching you how to fold MiG-1. The reason I wanted to show you this plane is because it is really, really easy to fold and it just flies brilliantly. I mean, well over 100 feet with a good throw. And of course, like I said, I have designed a template for this plane. So uh, if you are my patron, you will have access to download and print this off. And this is just an example of the transformation that could happen to your plane should you win the contest. And with that, let's get folding. fold MIC-1 is an A4 sheet of paper. If you're starting from eight and a half by 11, you're just going to trim a little bit off one side of the paper so that this edge is 7.78 inches and this is 11 inches and that will be the same proportions. And with that, we're going to begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. And we'll open that up. Next, let's go ahead and fold this top edge here into the center to make a triangle. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. And now we'll just fold this point here down to that point right there. And let's flip our paper over. Next, we're going to fold into the center like so. So you're taking this edge here and landing it on the center. And 
And we'll do the same thing on the left side. And now you want to fold right through kind of this intersection of diagonals here, right through that point, you're just pulling this whole section down and you want to pay attention, try to place your crease right through there and land your center crease on this top layer, on your center crease of the bottom layer. And your plane should look like this. And now we're just going to fold this top edge into the center again. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And your plane should look like this. And next we're just going to literally tuck these into this pocket here. You can fold this whole point down and fold it back forwards, but that's not really necessary. You, you can just kind of open it up slightly. And that is going to lock your layers together. And now you just fold away from yourself using that existing center crease. And now we just have to fold wings. So we're going to fold this edge here to this edge here. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And now we'll open our wings up. And you can see you have a finished MiG-1, which is a very, very aerodynamic paper airplane. Now I do suspect it will dive down slightly if you don't give it any up elevator. So just very slightly bend these back edges of the wings up and that should help it to have a really nice glide. And as you saw in the flight test, this thing flies far if you get a good launch and if you trim it correctly, it really will blast past 100 feet. So thank you so much for watching this video. Good luck to everyone who enters the contest and I will see you next time.